In this part, we will be analyzing an auto cycle. So let's start first, try to see who is or who was Nicholas August Otto. Nicholas Otto was a German engineer who developed the four-stroke internal combustion engine, which offered the first practical alternative to the steam engine as a power source. Otto built his first gasoline-powered engine in 1861. Three years later, he formed a partnership with the German industrialist Eugen Lunden, and together they developed an improved engine that won a gold medal at the Paris Expo of 1867. In 1876, Otto built an internal combustion engine utilizing the four-stroke cycle. The four-stroke cycle was patented in 1862 by the French engineer Alphonse Beau de Roca, but since Otto was the first to build an engine based upon this principle, it's commonly known as the Otto cycle. Because of its reliability, its efficiency, and its relative quietness, Otto's engine was an immediate success. More than 30,000 of them were built during the next 10 years. But in 1886, Otto's patent was revoked when Bodoroka's earlier patent was brought to light. This week, Auto Alert celebrates automotive innovator, Nicholas Otto. And now, since we know that the auto cycle is the ideal cycle for internal combustion engines or gasoline engines more specifically, there is a need for us to better understand the four stroke engine. So you can watch this video where you will learn about the four stroke engine. The Otto engine is a combustion engine and is considered to be a technological milestone of human sort. It was named after its inventor, Nicholas August Otto. Otto engines are used in motorcycles, cars and other vehicles. This animation explains the Otto engine as a four-stroke engine. This engine is composed of a piston that moves up and down in a cylinder. The highest point the piston can reach is called top dead center. The lowest point it can reach is called bottom dead center. The volume between both points is called engine displacement. The piston is connected to the crankshaft through the connecting rod. The crankshaft transmits the rotational movement to the gearbox and consequently drives the wheels of a car or motorcycle. Two camshafts are installed on top of the cylinder, which control the intake and exhaust valve. The camshaft is connected to the crankshaft through a belt. More often than not, the crankshaft to camshaft gear ratio is 2 to 1, which means that for every two revolutions of the crankshaft, the camshaft will rotate only once. An auto engine has a spark plug that uses an electric spark to ignite the fuel charge. A four-stroke auto engine is an internal combustion engine in which the piston completes four separate strokes. The first stroke is called intake stroke. Here, the intake valve is opened by the rotating cam. The air fuel mixture is sucked into the cylinder. The second stroke is the compression stroke. The intake valve is closed and the air fuel mixture is compressed to a high degree by the piston. The higher the compression ratio, the more mechanical energy the engine can squeeze from the air fuel mixture. Higher compression ratios, however, make self ignition more likely. The third stroke has been named power stroke because this is the process where power is produced. The air fuel mixture explodes. The force created by the explosion causes the piston to move down. The fourth stroke is called axle stroke. In this stage, gases remaining in the cylinder are removed from the cylinder through an exhaust valve. The crankshaft transmits the rotational movement to the gearbox. And the driver can drive. Often, Engines of today feature more than one cylinder to power cars or motorcycles in order to increase speed and smoothness. 